blessed evening to everyone and blessed day to those who are in other parts of the world joining us through this live streaming and uh, uh, I would like to focus once again this reflection on the uh, first reading today the story from Genesis the story of Abraham that caught my attention that uh, Abraham said at the beginning the first line of the first reading today that Abraham was 99 years old when he appeared to him my father had a wish to reach 100 when he was uh, I mean he started to have uh, sicknesses he said we were very pre preoccupied and said no I will uh, I will reach 100 but God disposed otherwise he, and he took him to himself this morning to live on uh, God's side by uh, making our own his point of view regarding human affairs and to believe in his promise brings almost instantly but slowly more often a change in uh, the depth in the, the heart of the person God changed the name Abram to Abraham and Sarai to Sarah and uh, God asked them to uh, be faithful to the covenant and finally indicated to uh, Abraham an external sign that is the circumcision of the male Hebrew these are signs of radical chains that God asks to those who accept to be a recipient of the promise and no one could uh, live under the sign of this promise like Abraham without that radical change of one's life that which the story of in the Bible will proclaim when Jesus will proclaim in a definitive manner because with him the new world the reign of God is forever in our midst so one who believes in God becomes a new creature a new creation while remaining humans like the rest but the, there is a radical change for those who generously respond to that call of God like what Abraham experienced when he responded generously even without understanding fully the call of God the question therefore what radical change God asked from us in order that his work also may bear fruit like in the case of Abraham we who have been made heirs of that promise he made to Abraham in our time we believe in general of the uh, interior conversion the chains of attitudes the, the way we live and I think this is correct and essential but perhaps we have 
forgotten too much also the signs, the symbolic manifestations of such commitments. The Mass, for example, the prayer, or being member of a Christian community, visible Christian community, the work of charity should manifest this intimate conversion and fidelity to God. And this is the challenge for all of us as we follow the Lord Jesus. May the example of Abraham, who knew how to respond generously to God, be our example as we respond also to him who has called us as children, as his children. And may we continue to grow in our conversion and may we recognize also his presence in the signs of everyday life. And may these be channels, reminders of our calling to grow in our relationship with God. Amen.